So I recently went on a five week trip to London and I only packed a small amount of jewellery with me. But the jewellery I packed was really versatile. The small amount of pieces that I took could actually be styled in so many different ways. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you my collection of Monica Vineta pieces, which I've actually had for over a year now. I'm going to share with you my top five jewellery styling tips. And of course, at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you a lookbook of five fully styled outfits, including jewellery. I have a lovely little discount code for all of you as well, which is up on the screen now. Everything you see in the video is linked below, as well as some timestamps, just in case you want to skip around the video. This video is jam packed full of value, so don't go anywhere. So I'm going to start with showing you my collection first. I'm going to start with my absolute favorite piece and why it's my favorite piece. And it's actually one that I'm wearing now in my layered necklace. So it's this long chain here. The reason this chain is my favorite piece is because it's actually adjustable. So all I have to do is pull this little end part of the chain through the ball and it adjusts the length. So now I have a shorter necklace. The other part of the collection I have is this beautiful pendant. The good thing about this is that it has a big enough hole so that you can take this pendant off, you can add a different pendant on, or you can just use the chain as a plain chain. And then the other pieces in my necklace collection are two other chains as well. So one of them is like a thicker chain here and then one is like a link chain, which is really nice as well. So you can adjust this to any length that you want too. So this bracelet was a piece that I wore almost every day in London and I got so many compliments on it. It's actually one of the first bracelets I've ever owned and continued to wear. I've always hated bracelets. I find them really annoying simply because they're really hard to put on and off. A bit of a faff to like try to do with one hand. The reason I chose this one was because the adjustments on it actually are really easy to just adjust like that and tighten up yourself. So you can kind of wear it really tight if that's what you prefer, or you can wear it looser if that's what you could prefer. You can wear it anywhere along your wrist if you have other bangles. And of course it's beautiful. It's that beautiful rope effect, easy to wear with everything. The next pieces in my collection are these little earrings. I actually got these ones with these little pearl drops as well. So I can add them on for a more of a statement earring and quite an elegant look as well. The last piece I have is this beautiful ring and yeah, absolutely adore that one too. So there is one more piece coming for me in the mail, which is a new piece earring stack. And the reason I got this one is because it is such a versatile piece that I just had to see it. I had to try it out and style it and show you guys as well. Cause I'm very excited about this versatile earring. So you guys know that I would never partner with a brand whose values don't align with mine. You'll be happy to know that Monica Vineta Jewelry is all sustainably made and sustainability has been in the forefront of their business long before it became a buzzword and quite a trend. So we love that. All of the pieces are made from 100% recycled sterling silver and 18 karat gold vermeil with ethically sourced gemstones, diamonds, and pearls. So if you want to know more about their sustainability efforts, then you can visit the link that's on the screen now. And I'll make sure to link that in the description below as well. Another maybe not so obvious reason why their pieces are sustainable is because of the way that they've been designed. So you've probably heard me use the term versatility already. So many of their pieces have been designed to be worn in more than just one way. That to me is a sign of sustainability because you don't have to invest in so many more pieces. You can get more bang for your buck from just one piece. As an example, the adjustable chain that I spoke about in the beginning can be worn with so many different things because you can adjust it to the length that you need. So I love that they think about all these design elements. Okay, so that is my collection. Let's move on with my five top styling tips. Choosing your hardware. Can you mix different metals? Yes, absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. You can mix different metals if that's what you wanna do. So my advice for mixing different metals is to just be intentional about it. So don't be scared to put gold and silver bracelets right next to each other. Make it obvious and be intentional. The opposite of this would be like having all gold bracelets and then having all silver necklaces. That would create a disconnect between the neckline and the arm and it just wouldn't feel as seamless. I personally am just a gold wearing person 
person and that is because I prefer the way gold looks on my skin tone. So if you're like me and you only want to stick to one hardware but you're not sure what colour suits you best, a general rule is if you have warm toned skin the golds will probably look better on you and if you have cooler toned skin the silvers will probably look better on you as well. So it's not a hard rule, you can do what you want but if you're looking for some guidelines that might help. Match your necklace with your neckline. So you want to make sure that your necklace isn't getting caught on your neckline or disappearing somewhere behind your clothes. As a general rule, if you're wearing a low v-neck top, a beautiful pendant just above the neckline will look really beautiful with that. A long necklace looks great over the top of high necks or even high crew necks. And a rounded necklace would look great in a scoop neck or like a lower rounded top. Create balance. How much is too much? Trying to find the right balance when putting all your jewellery together does come down to a lot of trial and error. And looking at yourself in the mirror. And you probably don't want to hear this, but a bit of trusting your instinct as well. If you look at yourself in the mirror and the first thing you think of is, wow, that looks like a lot, then trust yourself and take something away. In terms of guidelines for this, when it comes to wearing statement pieces, for my personal style, I don't like to overdo it. So if I'm wearing statement earrings, I'll often wear nothing on my neckline or something really small and dainty for my neckline because I don't want to take the focus away from the statement earrings. So today, for instance, I've got a lot going on in my neck. I've layered my own necklaces. So I've just chosen my small sleepers for my earrings. Because our neck and our ears are so close to each other, I don't like to overwhelm in one area. So I just try to create balance and I think less is more for me personally. Accessorize to complement your outfit. This can be a pretty loaded tip. I could probably make a whole video on it, but try to think about what you're wearing and what vibe you're trying to create from your outfit. For example, if you're going out in the evening and you're going to a dressy event and you want to come across as elegant and sophisticated, maybe you want to try the pearl drop ear earrings and maybe you want to pull your hair up away from your face so that it's all about the earrings and they're on show. Or maybe your outfit has a beautiful deep long neckline and you choose to show off one of the pearl pendants by itself on a chain. Layering necklaces. The thing about layering necklaces is that experimentation is the key to finding your perfect look. So take some time to throw some things around your neck, experiment, take things off, put things on. There is one very obvious thing that needs to be taken into consideration when layering necklaces, and that is the length of the chain. So when you're purchasing your chain, make sure you look at the length. Most very good brands, just like Monica Vinader, will show you the length of the chain and what it's gonna be. Measure the length of the chain so you have it at home. Everyone's neck can be different sizes, so you wanna know where that chain is gonna sit on your neck. If you're just starting out, out with layering your jewelry I would start with two to three necklaces and play around with layering them before you move on to more. You can add and minus different pendants to change the look so start by having a few solid base chains and then you can use different pendants to change things up. It's up to you whether you have two necklaces on that both have pendants or two necklaces on that have no pendants or just one pendant it's totally up to you there's no rules there i don't think i think it comes down to your personal style and what you like i just think that mixing up the different textures of chains is a nice idea so all these three chains are different textures and that brings kind of like a nice intrigue having a shorter chain like this one that can also be worn in as like a choker can be a really good piece to invest in to add with the pieces that you have at home to create a layered look. All right, so it is time for my styled looks and I'm gonna be showing them to you in a lookbook. Thank you for Monica Vinader for sponsoring today's video.
books here. Don't forget to spread kindness this week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.